Now you know more about the source rock and the reservoir, let's talk about the seal. The seal is a fundamental part of the trap that prevents hydrocarbon from further upward migration. Indeed, in order to keep the hydrocarbon confined within the carrier system, an impervious sedimentary bed is needed overlying the drains. To be efficient at the basin scale, the seal should correspond to a widespread formation overlying the drain and the reservoir. It also has to be thick enough to result the pressure induced by the hydrocarbons. Regional marine shales or massive evaporite intervals have those characteristics. Evaporites are deposited in dry environments by evaporation process. A good example is salt layers. In absence of such geological objects, the fate of the hydrocarbons would be to be dispersed towards the surface where biological and chemical processes can destroy them. To prevent the oil to reach the surface, a seal needs to be combined with a trap. A trap forms when the buoyancy forces driving the upward migration of hydrocarbon through permeable rock cannot overcome the capillary forces of a sealing medium. Petroleum geologists broadly classify traps into two categories that are based on their geological characteristics, the structural traps and the stratigraphic traps. Structural traps are usually induced by tectonic forces. At the contrary, stratigraphic traps are generated during deposition. The trapping mechanisms for many petroleum reservoirs have characteristics from both categories and can be known as a combination trap. Stratigraphic traps are formed as a result of lateral and vertical variation in the thickness, texture, porosity or lithology of the reservoir rock. Examples of this type of traps are an inconformity trap, a lens trap or a reef trap. As mentioned before, structural traps are due to mechanical processes leading to the formation of faults, falls or domes. Faults can be normal in extensional regime or reverse in compressional regime. Faults, also induced by compressional forces, can also generate traps if they are anticline faults as shown on the figure. Domes are due to low density ductile rocks such as salt rising into the subsurface. As shown on the figure, oil can be trapped in such structures. Structural traps are more easily delineated and more prospective than their stratigraphic counterparts, with the majority of the oil-petroleum reserve being found in structural traps. The timing between the oil expulsion and the trap formation is also a key element to obtain subsurface petroleum accumulations. The two schemes presented here will help to understand the importance of the timing. As shown on the left, the trap generated after the hydrocarbon has migrated will never contain oil and gas. Hydrocarbons reach the surface before being trapped. On the right, the trap already exists during the migration, so the hydrocarbons can be trapped. From sediment deposits to available oil and gas resources, the full process described here from source rock deposition to hydrocarbon accumulation takes tens to hundred million of years. It means the gasoline you use in your car correspond to organisms that were living tens to hundred million years ago.